It's an amazing time to be an astronomer, but it's an especially amazing time to be involved in exoplanets. An exoplanet is any world outside of our own solar system. The field is so new and so quickly evolving. This field hints at the possible existence of life on other worlds. It connects us to our own human story. I'm Sarah Ballard. I'm an exoplanetary astrophysicist at MIT. When the first exoplanet was uncovered in 1995, I was 11 years old in middle school. And by the time I went through college, that landscape had completely changed. The names of the first two planets I discovered were Kepler 19b and c. Kepler is the space-based NASA telescope. So from the successes of Kepler, TESS was born. It's going to be monitoring the nearest stars, looking for this telltale dimming signal of nearby planets. It used to be the case that an exoplanet discovery would land you on David Letterman. Now we know about thousands of those planets. Sarah is a rising star in this field of exoplanets. She's not only a great scientist who's shown that she can make very precise measurements, but being able to inspire and support the people around her so that as a team, we could really make some great discoveries. I thought entering college I was going to be a social science major. I took astronomy only because I had to take a science class. I knew I was inspired, but I didn't know that's what it feels like when you find something that you're supposed to do. Yoga it gives me a foundation, personally and scientifically. I want to help women scientists try to build scientific community. I created a podcast with a best friend and fellow astrophysicist specifically tailored for women scientists. I also run workshops at departments across the country related to helping young scientists navigate science culture. The L'Oreal for Women in Science Fellowship will help me start my own research program. It's very important for women to lead research teams because to be a young woman scientist and to see other women leading enables you to imagine that you might lead as well.